Hello everyone, this is Blenderman911 and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic walk animation for your Blender game character. So the first thing that you need is you need to have a character or make one really fast. For this tutorial I made this character in a couple of minutes. So you can make something simple like this or have one that you made previously. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add bones to our character. So go into front view and hit space, add armature. Go down here, to the editing button, and select x-ray with your armature selected. And now you'll see that you can see the armature through the body. So go ahead and place this in, in the middle of his body. Let me scale it up a little. Now hit tab to go into edit mode and hit A to deselect everything and A to select everything and you will see this window pop up and right here where it says BO this is the name of the bone so you could click on it and rename it so I'm going to rename this one body and if you rename all your bones it helps you in the rigging because everything is more organized and it's easier to see so you could rename all your bones if you want but in this tutorial I'm not going to so select the top part hit E to extrude bring it up select the top part again and go down here and select x-axis mirror and what this does is when you extrude it it's gonna mirror it in the x-axis direction so hit shift E bring it up to about where the shoulder blades would be hit E again and extrude it now again this is a very basic rigging you could spend a lot more time and do it way better if you want but for this tutorial I'm just doing it quickly to show you the basics of it so now select the bottom part right here and hit shift E extrude it again and right now we're just placing bones approximately where bones would be on a person so bring it to the knees bring it down again and just select this one and extrude it all the way to the head Alright, now that we got our basic bones in, what we need to do is assign the correct body parts to the correct bones. So with your armature selected, make sure you're in object mode. Uh, hold shift and right click your character. Hit control P. Oh, sorry. Select your character and hit hold shift and right click your armature. Hit control P. Make parent to armature and select create from bone heat. Now if you select your armature go down here and change it from object mode to pose mode select a bone if you rotate it you will see that it rotates the corresponding body parts but as you can see like if I rotate this one you can see that part of the stomach moves with it so we have to fix that but when you create it from bone heat it gets uh, most it gets mostly all the correct body parts assigned to the correct bones so that's how I do it I create from bone heat and then I go in by hand and fix all the little things that are wrong like this so the way to do that is make sure you're in pose mode with the armature select your character go down here and go from object mode to weight paint and now if you have an armature selected just select it with the right mouse button you will see that there are different colors on the body and when it's red it means the bone has a uh, hundred percent effect on this body part if it's green it has less and if it's yellow it has even less so wherever it's painted that's the body part that the armature is going to move and as you can see there's some on the side of the stomach and we don't want that so go into your editing button and go right here and select subtract and I'm going to deselect these and select only all faces so it goes faster and just erase it with your uh, left mouse button just erase any of the unnecessary paint and now make sure that you got all the paint off that you wanted to get off so select the bone and just rotate it and make sure that only the body part that you want is moving so now we need to make sure that all the bones are rotating the correct body parts so just select each bone and hit R to rotate it 
make sure it's moving the right body part. For this tutorial, this is going to do. If you want to make it better, go ahead. And also, if you want to add uh, the paint, just go down here, select Add, and just draw wherever you need to add some. All right, now go back to into object mode. And now we're going to be setting up our uh, walk animation. Go down here, hover your mouse over here, and click the middle mouse button. Select split area. And in your second viewport, change it from whatever it is to action editor. Now select your armature. Make sure you're in pose mode. And make sure you're in frame one. And now put your character how he would be at the start of the walk animation. So this is fine for now. And now hit A to deselect all the bones and A to select all of them. Hit I, location, rotation, scale. And now in the action editor you will see all these diamond like shapes. And this is the, the rotation, the scaling, and the movement of the armature in this certain period and time. So now what we need to do is we need to make him walk. So go into side view, go to frame 5, select the legs and just start rotating it how he would be when he starts walking. Actually we're going to do it in an easier way. Select both of the feet, rotate them to how they would be at the start of the walk animation and the arms also. Hit A, select all the bones, I, location, rotation, scale. Go to frame 10, select the feet again and rotate them to how they would be at the end of the walk animation. Same with the arms. And if you want, you could, you could like rotate the shoulders a little to give it more life. And hit A, I, location, rotation, scale. Now, if you pan through the frames, see that doesn't really look like walking because his arms and legs are moving in the same direction at the same time. So what we need to do is select the bones, select all your armatures in one of the legs. And as you can see, these are the names of all the armatures. So if you renamed them, it's easier to do this because you know which one is which. So select all the armatures are in one of your legs. Look at the name and now we have to switch so it's these two these two armatures are these two so we have to A to deselect everything so we're going to switch how his legs are at the start of the walk animation with the ones at the end of the walk animation for this leg now if you pan through the frames you can see that one leg goes forward and one leg goes back we also need to do that for the arm, so select the arm, look at the name, and switch the second one with the third one. And we want him to go back to the standing position after he walks. So just hit A to deselect everything, and hold B, and box in the first column, and hit Shift D and bring this to frame 15. And now if you pan through the frames you can see that it's starting to look more like a walk animation. Of course this is a very simple way of doing it but if you want to spend more time and do it better go ahead. Uh, this is the end of this part of the tutorial and I will continue in part 2.